The J.M. Busha 54 Races campaign invaded Eswatini and golf was yet another social investment program used by the organization which aims at promoting education, peace, unity and harmony among people and nations. The Royal Swazi Golf Course hosted this initiative that had over 50 golfers participating on the given day including Mr. Busha himself. Right at the 10th, good bunker play by Mota. MJ for par, needed to hit it firm for that line. Taps in the bogey. A par attempt for Lamini, unfortunately it lips out. It's really unbelievable the frustration is too clear. Par attempt for Mota, sinks it, was a great up and down. On to the first tee, Kumalo, Matlalela and Clement tee off in style. Good approach by Matlalela. What an orthodox follow through by Kumalo, nonetheless a good approach to the green. Matlalela chips it close even for his par. From the fringe, Kumalo chips it on the green, leaving him work for his par. Birdie opportunity for Clement, just misses the hole. Walks and taps in the par. Kumalo for his power putt, falls short and takes two points on this hole. Easy tap in par for Matlalela, who registers three points in his card. On the eighth, par four. Senzo Bachis, Bumelelo Villagati, Taripo Bembe, and Nicolas Villagati tee off as they play their second last hole. Senzo pulled his driver and plays a good recovery second shot. Right on the fairway, Nicolas Villagati approaches the green. From off the putting surface, Taripo rolls his birdie try. Not bad from off the green, taps in an easy par. Uphill birdie opportunity from Bumelelo, too strong on that one. Nick for birdie, poor effort. Senzo for a three-pointer. Funny guy thanks the TV guy. Thank you Mr. TV. With the greens under repair, Bumelelo's putt suffers as it moves away from its line. Nicholas for an important par putt. Ooh, it's in the hole. At the par 5, 17, Gideon Mklongo weirdly hacks his third straight into the bunker. Ntlantlama Panga opts to putt way off the green. It climbs perfectly. Good bunker play by Mklongo. Styles Richard chips close. Bongani Mamba's uphill putt needs more juice. Another uphill par putt by the Mbabane City Council CEO. Legs it close. Mapanga is too strong. Great leg putt by Bongani Mamba and taps in the par. Styles Richards for birdie. Makes it looks easy. Easy tap ends for both Ntlantla and Gideon. Woje Musha 54 Races for Peace and Unity in Africa is a peace initiative to try and promote a peace and unity in Africa. You are aware that in 1963, the OAU, which is now the AU, was formed purposely to try and promote peace in Africa and unity in Africa. But I think African countries too remain very divided between the Franco and the um, English-speaking countries and the yes. Portuguese-speaking countries. But also we still continue to see a lot of uh, struggle uh, in Africa. So there isn't much peace. Um, you are aware that last year there were some auctions of um, uh, young men from Cameroon, from Nigeria, in Libya, you know, the slave auction, as, yeah. as we call it. Um, and the lots of young people also who are drowning in the streets, um, I mean, in the Mediterranean Sea, is trying to cross into Europe. So, so I think the objective of the 54 
as we try and look at all the 54 member uh, states uh, of the AU uh, to promote and pledge peace. So we're trying to involve individuals, uh, you know, governments and companies to make sure that there's peace in Africa. Well, obviously, uh, Taribo, I think it just makes perfect sense, man. We need peace. You know, peace is just another word that should be just uh, circulating around the whole world. You know, we need a bit of peace somewhere there and there, you know. And But yeah, I think the cause is okay. And that's why we're all here, just to support that, you know, as Africa, as, I don't want to go racist, but as black people, we need to start underlining that word into our nerve to say that we need that. We need a lot of peace in our, in our continent. A great day on the golf course to help promote J.M. Busha initiative. Day results were the top five. Siva Lamini winning the tournament on 42 points. Rashid Mohammed runner up on 40 points. Jeto Masugu on 39 points, Jay Kumalo on 38 points, and Sandile Kongo on 38 points. The SRIC Golf League is in the business part of things. Played in two folds at the Royal Swazi, the Championship and Consolation Leagues. All companies playing their first round games. We pick up the action on Hole 11 ERG vs Liberty, playing in the Championship log. For ERG, Peter Lamini and Bongosi Masuru. For Liberty, Lamini and Vusi Lamini. After pulling his tee shot to the left, Mongi finds a gap within trees with a great recovery shot. Masuru plays his just off the second cut. Mongi seems to be struggling to play on the right fairway. Vusi plays his second, while Masuru brilliantly chips onto the green from an awkward angle. Vusi replies with a great play. Masugu from way uptown. Good speed, good putt. Consolation League matchup. Segusile Insurance Brokers versus Lassicon. Playing for Segusile. Clement Lamini and Mazia, and for Lassicon, Noctula and Tulani. Noctula punches her second straight to the bunker, while Clement plays his second from the fairway bunker. Mazia attacks the green. Clement's aiming sends him way wide, but chips a good one on the green. Noctula's bunker plays Rolf onto the green and rests on the fringe. Can Tulani sink it in from the fringe? Great effort. He taps it in. Another off the green effort by Mazia. Well played. Clement for bogey, reads it well, good putt. And Noctula cleans it up well. Still on the consolation log teams, SRACB versus Pots Construction at the signature par 3, hole 18. Bunker play by SRIC's Sabe Lomota. Well out. Parts player Brian Mabuza chipping for birdie. Looks online, just misses to the right. Now that's not how you putt for a par. Scissor strong of a par. Oh no, that was too strong of a putt. Speed kills. Mr. Mota still can't find the hole. Hopefully, Brian will. Oops, too positive. Come on, Sizwe, please sink this one. Oh no, not a good day in the office. After all the first round games, here are the results. Let's have a look at the championship and consolation tables. Join us 
us again next time as we bring you local golf activities happening in the country. Do watch this program on Eswatini TV, 4.30 p.m. every Saturday. If you've missed it, check out the link on our YouTube channel, Eswatini TV. Till next time.